Hosidius. Just look at it. A place most people would consider out of the way and irrelevant. But the secret truth is that this place is home to some of the most fascinating forgotten content in the game. Hosidius, one of the five cities in Great Kurend, is a relic of the past that has stood the test of time. Over the last year, I've been on a journey of exploration and discovery, and now, after countless hours spent in Hasidius, I've uncovered every tiny detail about the city and its history. So join me. This is the story of Chunk Zia, my extreme one-chunk Iron Man. The RuneScape map is segmented into chunks. Using the extreme one-chunk Iron Man rules, I adhere to an extreme approach using Limpwort's rules. This is requiring me to accomplish all tasks within my designated chunk before progressing to the next one. This entails obtaining and equipping best in slot drops, shop items, and rewards for all three combat styles. I strive to conquer the most challenging skilling tasks, complete quests, achievement diaries, and comeback tasks as far as possible. Additionally, I will fill out every collection log slot and complete all mini-games. In crafting my character's appearance, I drew inspiration from a distinguished figure strolling through the charming Hosidius Square. To maintain a timeless and classic aesthetic, I opted for this traditional look. A brisk walk to the ferry in Port Sarum not only added an immersive touch to my adventure, but also conveniently spared me from unlocking unnecessary music tracks. After a swift journey, I find myself at Hosidius Square, ready to embark on the next chapter of my journey. Upon reaching my destination, I am greeted by a vigilant Hosidius guard, signaling that a requirement before rolling a new chunk is achieving a thieving skill level of 40. Determined to meet this requirement, I embarked on a journey to collect some food. The initial option that came to mind for a food source was the herd of cows situated in the northern part of the town. Afterwards, I headed to the pub, where I came across a range. This stove serves as my sole means of cooking food, given that I lack access to an axe for chopping logs in my chunk. Afterward, I decided to train my thieving level to five. This enabled me to swipe goodies from the baker's stall, securing a quick supply of bread, cakes, and chocolate slices. It proved a speedier and more convenient alternative to the slower task of cooking meat that I had relied on before. While advancing my thieving skills from level 5 to 25 at the baker's stall, I took a moment to review the specific rules for my one-chunk account. It's crucial to comprehensively outline all tasks within my chunk before progressing to the next one. This entails successfully tackle the most challenging skilling objectives available in my chunk, accomplish all quests, achievement diaries, and combat as far as possible, fill every conceivable slot in the collection log encompassing boss pet and jar drops, complete all mini-games, acquire and equip best in slot drops, shop items, and rewards for all three combat styles. However, there are exceptions to these rules. Random events and other time-gated activities, like implings. The farming skill is included. Puro Puro is only unlocked in Zanaris. Clue scrolls are not specific to a chunk. Skilling pets are not confined to a particular chunk. Combat achievements may be postponed if deemed close to impossible, especially in cases involving speed tasks with severely limited gear. A select few meme drops necessitating an extensive gameplay duration, such as the Evil Chicken's outfit, will be considered. PvP minigames and their rewards fall outside the chunk-specific criteria. I will only allow secondary training methods with drops, yacht methods more common than 116 to count as a training method. E.g. I will not allow a 150 drop for
for a bronze bar to be my required way to train smithing. Before rolling a new chunk in Hosidius, the following achievements must be met. Achieve a thieving level of 40 to pickpocket a Hosidius guard. Attain a cooking level of 58 to bake pita bread. Complete the Kurin diary task to pickpocket from the food stall. Additionally, to acquire the best in-slot melee gear, I must equip an iron dagger and a bronze med helm. For magic, a wizard's hat is also required to obtain best in-slot. As I trained my thieving abilities, progressing from level 5 to 25 at the baker's stall, I stumbled upon a clever tactic. Employing my main character to splash on the guard dog's attention, thus ensuring the safety of my hardcore Iron Man training. This method effectively kept the dogs at bay, allowing me to focus solely on my skill development. Moreover, I uncovered the added benefit of using the cakes to make chocolate cake with level 50 cooking. This will help me in my grind to get 58 cooking. Upon achieving level 25 in thieving, I eagerly set out to tackle my first chunk task, pickpocketing from the Hosidius fruit stall. While I may lack the tools for traditional woodcutting, I'm fortunate to have access to a range at the local Hosidius pub, where I intend to train my culinary skills and reach a cooking level of 58. Reviewing the available cooking methods at my disposal, I've identified the following progression. At level 1, I have two options to kickstart my cooking training. Firstly, I can venture to the northern cow pen to slay cows and gather their raw beef, which can then be cooked for 30 cooking experience. Alternatively, I can visit Logava Gricolaire's cooking supplies to purchase pots of flour and bowls, which can be utilized to bake bread, yielding 40 cooking experience. Upon reaching level 7 in my culinary journey, I'll further refine my skills by cooking potatoes, readily available for purchase at Logava Gricolaire's Cooking Supplies. This rewards me with 15 cooking experience. My next cooking training method is not unlocked before level 20 cooking. Now it's time to train! The atmosphere at the Hosidius pub is fantastic. Just take a moment to soak it in. Those were the days when we got to right land you. Sacks yeah. and sacks of grain like you've never seen. The dwarves won't Great pay a day. decent price never anymore. A bull like him. Can I ask you to like the video for not accepting any video sponsor? Thank you. After achieving level 20 cooking, I can finally bake meat pies. Baking meat pies is quiet the process. Let me explain. Begin by dispatching a cow and gathering its raw beef. Engage in a bit of subterfuge by pickpocketing a guard to amass the necessary coins. It's going to be a costly process. Head to the cooking supplies store and purchase pots of flour, empty jugs, and pie dishes. Locate a nearby sink and fill the empty jugs with water. Combine the pots of flour with the jugs of water to craft the essential pastry dough. Utilize the pastry dough to fashion pie shells using the pie dishes bought earlier. Place the cooked beef into the pie dishes to create the uncooked meat pies. Place the uncooked meat pies into the oven and bake them for a satisfying 110 cooking experience. Repeat this 105 times to make enough meat pies to achieve level 30 cooking. While cooking, I had my first social experience as an one chunk Iron Man. I encountered Chunk 6967 at the southern border of my chunk. It turned out that he had embarked on his one chunk journey merely a single chunk south of my own starting point. Bring a rake! I've got plenty. That emote took you into my chunk? Account ruined! Indeed.
Despite the enchantment of lively company, I returned back to train my cooking to level 30. Achieving level 30 cooking has unlocked a superior training method, cooking apple pies. Apple pies are made using a process like that of meat pies, but instead of cooked beef, they feature cooking apples. These apples can be obtained by pilfering from the fruit stall, an ability that I unlocked at level 25 thieving. Apple pies are cooked for 130 cooking experience each. I will need to repeat this approximately 2,110 times to make enough apple pies to achieve level 58 cooking. As I start whipping up 2,110 apple pies, let's shift our focus to scouting the chunks around Hosidius in preparation for my first chunk roll. The area south of Hosidius, which I call the Death Chunk, poses challenges that demand a cooking skill of 95 to bake a summer pie and a farming level of 85 to grow a grimy torstal in the unlocked herb patch. Notable features include magic trees for future woodcutting endeavors when I get an axe and my first altar on this account. Thankfully, I can already restore my prayer points by pilfering jangerberries from the fruit stall, with each berry eaten granting one prayer point. This chunk will also unlock my first easy and medium clue scroll steps. The chunk east of Hosidius is also very interesting, with notable fishing spots available. While I do not yet have any tools to train fishing, I will have to obtain a big bass, swordfish, and shark when I get access to fishing tools. Fishing a big shark is a very rare 1 in 5,000 drop and also requires 76 fishing. Willow and magic trees are also available in this chunk. I will also have to obtain a steel sword from a hobgoblin, my new best-in-slot weapon. The northern chunk area provides me with the opportunity to confront the Shazien headguard, who has a chance to drop coveted items such as the rune scimitar and rune kite shield, albeit at a relatively rare rate of 1 in 512. Additionally, within this region, I can engage in combat with a highwayman, who has a chance to drop a highly sought-after cape that ranks as the best in slot. Furthermore, the presence of oak and willow trees in the area offers potential for woodcutting training once I acquire an axe. The western chunk area doesn't currently have any immediate requirements, but it's just one chunk away from the Forthos ruins. If I roll that chunk, I'll need to hunt Seracnus, which drops its pet at a rate of 1 in 3,000. It also unlocks an easy and medium clue step. I'm excited for the chunk roll. Let's tackle my final requirement, baking pita bread with a cooking level of 58. Then, this happened. Chunk Z has a funny feeling like he's being followed. Get out of my ass off. Off. No way. No! Spawn! Whoa! Grats! My first chunk. Roll time Spawned! soon. Grats! That was amazing. I feel incredibly fortunate to have received Rocky so early in my journey. Let me break down the odds for you. When pickpocketing Hasidious guards, the chance of getting Rocky Drop Chance is a mere rate of 1 in 257,211. I crunched the numbers based on my experience in Thieving, which currently stands at level 55 with 172,182 experience points. Here's how I arrived at this estimation. I started by training on pickpocketing men from level 1 to level 5. From level 5 onward, I switched to stealing from the baker's stall until I reached level 25. Then, 
I continued my thieving exploits at the fruit stall from level 25 to 40. Finally, from level 40 to 55, I honed my skills by pickpocketing guards. Now, let's dive into the results. Drum roll, please. Ninety-eight point six percent of gamers would not have been as lucky as me to receive Rocky at my level. A mere one point four percent would have snagged one or more Rockies at my level. To put that one point four percent chance in perspective, imagine it like this, or perhaps like this. Keep rocking, fellow adventurer. Let's get back to finishing my first chunk by achieving a cooking level of fifty-eight. Let's bake my first pita bread to complete the last requirement of my chunk. Before I roll a new chunk, I quickly want to show you my bank after completing Hosidius chunk. This is my final stats. Notice how I got my cooking level to 58 and my thieving to level 55. Take a look at my music unlocks. I am showing you my unlocks to prove that I have never left my chunk. Finally, now it is time to roll our first chunk. Keep in mind that the chunk south of Hosidius contains a farming patch, requiring me to make 67,473 apple pies to reach level 95 cooking, which is required to make a summer pie. Additionally, I'll need to train my farming up to level 85 in order to plant a grimy torstol. I have marked this chunk with a skull. Let us roll another chunk. Oh my guard, I am so high. Please, not the farming chunk. Let's go! The Hosidius kitchen chunk has been unlocked. 